In the last two decades, ProAV has seen incredible innovations. There's just one problem. While the visual side of AV has seen new developments like projection mapping, HDR displays in high resolution video formats, for many years, audio was slow to change. The numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board. But with recent developments in immersive and spatial technologies, audio is now experiencing a renaissance of its own. And it's happening in places you might not expect. I think it was in 1973 or 1974, the Grateful Dead introduced the sound wall for the first time. It was one of the most uh, iconic installations of what like sound can do in a large venue, but it was just hundreds of speakers. The speakers were large because the materials weren't at a point where they are today. They were hauling class AB amplifiers, which was very heavy. There were copper cables that people were hauling, which was also expensive, but also inefficient in design. The old approach to immersive audio could be summarized in four words. Big speakers, big sound. And for many years, this approach was a standard until improvements in technology began to change the way we think about delivering sound. The loudspeakers, instead of having those huge horn arrays or line arrays, now they've become much more beam forming, beam steering. Compute power has helped in making sure that you can target certain audiences with a certain beam, and that has improved the efficiency of audio delivery. And it wasn't just loudspeakers, they were becoming more efficient. Networking those speakers proved to be a game changer. I think networked audio is probably one of the most significant changes over the last couple of years. So the number of channels you can deliver, the amount of audio power that you can deliver over that audio network has gone up significantly. And that has allowed companies and manufacturers to give not only like two channels and four channels, but really push the bar on 256, 512 channels of audio. So being able to create environments where you can actually place audio objects as opposed to just channelized audio. Now we're thinking about every speaker as a channel. Immersive audio has been around quite a while in select applications such as cinemas or theme parks, museums. However, it has been really, really lacking in other areas or other verticals. Probably with the pandemic, it has all changed. The COVID-19 pandemic may have shut the world down temporarily, but it actually accelerated the need and development of immersive spatial audio. All of us crave these experiences, but we haven't been able to experience them for a long time because of the pandemic. Experiences that draw people out, go to a concert or go shopping or even go to the, the office. You know, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm talking really loud. Hello? Am I talking really loud? Can't hear you. Uh, a little comment. Hmm. The office? I vaguely remember this office you speak of. But what could immersive spatial audio do for virtual conferencing? For a very long time, hybrid workers and remote workers were kind of second-class citizens. They were on the end of that telephone line. Through the pandemic, it's changed the way we think about meetings. As platforms and meeting platforms have digitized, these platform vendors are looking for ways to make meetings more natural and, and provide less meeting fatigue. And spatial audio and positional audio is one way to do that. All right, down to business. So R&D, where are we at? The new tech looks promising. Should be ready by Q1. New tech for rocks? Great. Marketing, what's new? Okay, so immersive and spatial audio is here to stay. But what does it mean for those who work in our industry? I would say if you are getting started in your career, this is a great time to jump into audio. Audio either as a capability and a competency that you can layer on top of the things that you're interested in, or it becomes really a new category for you to develop an expertise in. The beauty of this industry is we have no idea where people are gonna use the technology next. We're only constrained by the thinking we have against the things that we're currently doing. 